Now, if you self-identify as a web dev, you are probably responsible for all of the world's ills. And I want to talk about why in this video. Um, here's the deal. This is not a minimalist nitpick. Uh, let me talk about real life for a second. The other week, I wanted to make chicken parmesan. I've actually never made chicken parmesan. Uh, you know, I cook for friends all the time, but I was having people over and I was like, I'm going to try chicken parmesan. Maybe it'll work out. So here's what I did. Something very normal that everyone does. I went to my search engine and, uh, you know, of course there are many chicken parmesan results and I opened, you know, I control clicked and I opened multiple different tabs so I could sort of look at those and compare them, okay? You might think that that's a simple task, but it ain't because we live in a world of a bloated web. In order to open a single page, it often takes, you know, five, 10, 20 megabytes. On an internet connection like mine, that means several minutes per page. If I wanna open up 10 different chicken parmesan recipes, I will be sitting there for minutes. Most of the pages, mind you, will actually keep loading forever. They never actually finish loading. Let me show you an example of this. Now, I, I to test, to show you exactly how much bandwidth we're using, I devised a little script called bandwidth test. Uh, so let's actually look at what this script does. Uh, this is just for the Linux people. All it does is it takes, it looks at your uh, received bytes and when you start the script, then you press enter when you're done, when you're done and it will tell you how much, uh, you know, basically how much bandwidth you've had since you started the script. Okay, so let's use this. Um, I'm going to open, oh, and by the way, I just cleared my browser's cache. Let's actually, you know, re-clear it just in case. Um, so let's open one of these uh, random sites. So I'm gonna open this one for simply recipes, okay? This page, this is one of the quicker ones. I, that's why I'm opening it first, okay? So it's opened up, it's not loading up here anymore. That looks good. Um, and I've turned off my ads and tracker blockers, so it will, tr I am looking at it, the website, the way it was built with all of those ads on the side. So we see that it's loading all these different ads, okay? Um, and it has actually a lot of pictures on this page, uh, which is a good, like I'm, I'm pro pictures. I love recipes with pictures. I'm not saying that that is bloat, that's fine. But look how slowly they're loading. Maybe they're just really big pictures, okay? But it's taken a while. We're getting them all eventually. I want to scroll down to the end. Okay, looks like about the end, it looks like there's a comments page loading. But that's about it. So let's see how long it took. Now, mind you, the ads are still loading, it looks like. Um, but how long did it take for, for it to load all of that? Uh, well, you can look at the time codes if you want, but that was seven megabytes. Seven megabytes to load a site to get a chicken parmesan recipe. And again, this is one of the smaller sites. Now let's compare this to a special little page I made. What I did is I took the content of uh, this lady's recipe, including her images, um, and I put it on my own website. Okay, so that's what this link is here. Let's open up uh, this link. Oh, actually, let me turn the bandwidth test on and see how long that took. So the, the initial original page was seven megabytes. I made this quick little page Okay, it's still loading, but you now see all the content and can easily move up and down. Okay, actually all the images are already done. That only took a couple of seconds. Mind you, I'm not linking the images on the original site. This is my browser reloading different images. Um, how long did that take? Not very long at all. And that was less than one megabyte, okay? Meaning that six megabyte difference, which mind you, that original site would actually keep loading stuff if I had kept it on longer, that six megabyte difference, that is ads and trackers and scripts and just junk, okay? This on my page, I didn't even minimize any of these images. If you look at this, let's open this image. It is its native resolution, 1200 by 800, okay? Full size images, still less than a meg. I didn't change anything, okay? Whereas the original site, that was eight meg uh, seven megabytes, okay? Let, let me just pull up a couple of these other websites just as a point of example, okay? I'll turn on this again. Let's, uh, let's look at allrecipes.com. Let's find out if allrecipes.com is in fact all recipes. It might be all bloat, okay? So it's still loading. Uh, I see most mostly blankness. Now when I see blankness on a, a soy dev website, 
What that means is, oh, in maybe 10 minutes, there are gonna be ads and like other junk there, okay? So we have our main picture here, uh, some ads, we gotta scroll. And uh, another thing about the modern web I hate is the fact that you have to scroll down like five, uh, like uh, five desktop lengths just to see the actual content. Now this one wasn't that bad, but a lot of these other sites are like that. Um, so now we got some Walmart ads and stuff, but you know, okay, we got, uh, we got the content, we can see the content of our site. Um, now most of the pictures and stuff we see are things not relevant, they're links to other things, but let's see how long that took. It's still loading, but it took 5.7 megabytes. Okay, 5.7 megabytes just to really get this one picture of chicken parmesan and a bunch of text. That could have been easily 100 KB. Let's try another site. Let's say Skinny Taste. SkinnyTaste.com. Let's see if SkinnyTaste.com has a skinny taste in websites. Um, it's been a couple seconds. Nothing has happened. I don't see anything. Okay, I see a blank page. I see some stuff filling in. I'm trying to go down with my arrow keys, but the website is not responding. Okay, no, it's just super delayed. So another thing you're probably noticing, I don't see it on my side, but my image here, my face here, is probably flickering, okay? It was not doing that, I guarantee you, when I loaded my own page of this. But what's happening on all these soy dev sites is that it's loading megabytes of ads and trackers and running all these scripts that are incredibly processor intensive. And since I'm recording this video at the same time, it's actually too much for my processor. I have an i5, I have a decent, decent processor. It should be able to do this stuff. I mean, it, it normally can record videos fine, but if I record videos while loading a soy dev website, that is impossible. Um, so it looks like most of this website is maybe loaded. Let's, let's scroll down, okay. Uh, got, oh great, pop-up videos. That's what everyone loves. Well, the video failed to load, so um, I guess we don't have to load all of that junk. But it looks like, mo how big is this page? Like how long do, okay, I guess it's showing all of the comments here. Like it, it, it includes them all. Um, let's see, it's sort of hard to navigate this one. I, I wanna, did I miss the recipe or something? Hold on. It's, it's bad when I have to like, I'm struggling to find, okay, instructions, okay. There's, there's our instructions. Um, look how little this is, like, no, look at the scroll bar, okay? What I have highlighted here are like the, oh my goodness, I can't even, sorry, this thing loads so slowly. Um, basically you can get all the informational content on one page, but look at the scroll bar, look how big this page is. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the bandwidth test. That is 19 megabytes, 19 megabytes just to load skinny taste, skinny taste, oh wow. That just sets itself up for puns. Anyway, when I complain about things not being minimalist, okay? Now, no, well actually, maybe I'll sympathize with the people writing these websites. Oh, you know, the guy just wanted me to add this or that or these kind of ads or whatever. Yeah, I understand all of that stuff, you know, has its reasons. But you as a web dev professional need to know when to put your foot down and say, no, this is stupid. No, this is gonna be terrible. Because let me tell you, you might think that I have slow internet, but I have normal internet in reality. I complain about my internet speed all the time, but most of the world has internet like me. And if they do something simple, like clicking on different chicken parmesan recipes, that is a Herculean task for their you know, internet connection nowadays. It shouldn't be that way. Most of these pages should be like, should be like my little page here that I made. And let me tell you what, if you're an inter internet entrepreneur, okay, and you wanna make a website, here's an idea for a website. I'll give you this one for free. I'll give all of you guys this one for free and hopefully you'll all make a million websites like this. Make a recipe site that looks like this, that just has recipes and just has simple images. It loads instantaneously, even though this thing has like 10 images or something like that. Uh, it loads quickly. And guess what, whenever people are given the choice to decide between a website like this and a website like, uh, let's see, uh, norecipes.com. I don't, maybe because they're just entirely trackers and they don't even have room for recipes. But if people are given the decision to choose between a nice, m nice functional and minimalist site and one of a website like this, they will always choose the minimalist site. You might think, oh, that's not so. Think about every single site out there that's famous got so being minimalist. Google.com, okay? 
When you look at all the other competitors to Google in the early days, they all put junk all over their main page, links to everything. Google just put their logo and a, a, an input box, right? Uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is just text with a couple images. It would not be improved if you had trackers and ads and JavaScript all over the place, okay? Normies love eBay. Normies love Craigslist. Those sites look bad. They could be improved with a couple lines of CSS, but they are functional and people will choose functional and minimal over junky websites like this every single time. All of these websites I'm, I've been looking at today, let's see how long that one, eight megabytes, geez. All of these websites I'm, we, we've been looking at here, these soy dev websites, they're not gonna make it, okay? They're not gonna make it. No one likes them. They're terrible sites. And if you, as a professional web dev, um, what separates what should separate you from the soy devs is that you are willing to say no to your employer or you know whoever's commissioning you and say no, that's a bad idea. People will just want a simple website. That's all they want. That's all I want. Okay, that is what most people would love to live with, and they will happily choose that. Okay. Anyway, that's all I'm complaining about. This is not a rarefied issue that weird uh, weird nerds complain about. This is a real world issue. These sites are getting huge. They're becoming, you know, 20 megabytes or something like that. Other ones of these actually, if you let them keep loading, they will get to 20 megabytes uh, because they're, I don't know, they're written by morons who don't, who, I don't know, reload a bunch of stuff. But either way, um, just stop doing this. Just stop doing this. I want a minimal web. That's all I want. Okay? Th this is my struggle. All right, that's it, and I'll see you guys next time.